In this lesson, I want to show you what you can do to fix the issues and the layout uh, problem that you had here. So if your if your layout looked like this, then there's some things that you didn't do right. I'm going to show you, but uh, before I do that, we have to first fix this bottom part here. If you notice, we're supposed to have three articles listed here, but right now there's just one article. So let's fix that first. So to do so, this is the first uh, privacy policy that we created. So let's just click on this. We're going to edit the content uh, of this and just change the title. So I have here some sample content. Uh, you can put, you can, you know, uh, before I, you know, continue on, I just want to say that it's important that you take time to write your blogs. I know that right now I just have a bunch of stuff that, you know, look like doesn't make much sense or whatever. Uh, but it's important that you really take time to, you know, to dedicate to your blogs because that's going to be a great way for you to communicate with your, um, you know, prospective, you know, customers and whatnot. So I'll have this. I'm going to add the read more which is going to separate that. And then I'm going to go over here to images and links and I'm going to get an image. So right now I don't have any images that I want to put there from this section so I can just click on choose file. And once I've chosen the files that I want, then I can just click start upload. Now also on if you want to select multiple multiple images, you can just press down on the on the PC, or your laptop, you can press down control. And then you click on the images on the Mac, you press down command and then you click on start upload. So now I have the images that I need uploaded on the, uh, on the site. So I'm going to choose this one and then click on insert. And then I'm going to click on save. And the reason why I'm saving is so I can look on the front end to see if, you know, if it looks different since I made some changes to it. So let's refresh this and see if at the bottom here, instead of it saying privacy policy, if it changed. So let's refresh. So there you have it. You have this image right now that when someone clicks on it, it's going to take them to the blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but just create three more or uh, two more images um, to be able to, you know, fit right next to this one. So once you make the right changes, you're pictures should look something like this. You upload those pictures that you have here. Uh, they look something just like this, which means that you, you know, you did it the right way. And when you put your mouse over it, you know, it shows you the little link that you can click on. So if you click on an image and you don't say show up on this page, then there's something else that needs to be done. Uh, and, and that pretty much is you have to add the image to the full article. So right now the images has only been added to the uh, to the intro. So what you want to do is you want to click where it says full article image and then you want to add that particular image to that as well. So let's add this image here and then save and close. So once I refresh this page we should see an image on this on the site. So there you have it. Nice beautiful image. Just make sure that you do the same thing for these other images as well so that they too can show up on like this. So now let's go over back to the home page. Uh, you know, as I mentioned before, the layout was kind of, you know, very distorted like this one here. Everything looked out of place. So what, what can you do if you realize that your layout is out of place and it's not matching up well or all right. So I'm gonna if you have to if you have to pause the video to look at my screen again and see exactly how my setup is, then I definitely encourage you to do so. So I want to go through first now with the first uh, section here. If you're following along, uh, then you want to you know kind of slow down and just kind of pause it or break the video down so you can be able to make sure that the settings that I have is exactly the same settings. Uh, that you have on your end. So let's first start up with this top section here. This is where the slideshow is. Let me come back on the home page. So this part here is very tricky because if you don't do this right, then it's going to, you know, look bad. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on where it says the, the row settings. So let's click on that. And I'm going to go through the screen slowly so that you can see my settings and check it with your settings. Uh, the options here, so slowly scroll down and you have to make sure that the heading uh, is set to H1 tag 
and I'm scrolling down. Make sure that, you know, your screen, you know, the settings that I have here is exactly what you have. Scroll down. Make sure the title and sub position, title position is set to center. I don't have any background images. And for where it says the background repeat, you want to make sure it's set to no repeat. Make sure it's set to cover, set to inherit for the background attachment. And for the background position, this is set to center. Center, when you click on the drop down, you get the option for that, in case you're wondering. And then once you, once you come to the CSS, there's a special CSS class that was added, and that is the resort dash slider. So make sure that you have the exact same thing. And we want this to be fluid, the road to be fluid. That's it for that one. And let's go over here to the slideshow. So it's set to autoplay, yes, show controllers, no, show navigation arrows, nav navigate arrows. You want to set that to yes. And let's take a, take a look at the slide options. So just the title and then the image. And you want to make sure that the button size is standard. The button type is default. And nothing else to change. All the other slides are exactly the same way, so you don't have to worry about it. Once one is correct, all you have to do is just to change the image for the other one. So that's the image here for that. And I'm going to have, you know, some of the images and stuff so you can be able to, you know, make sure that you get the right sizes for it. Okay, so we went through that. Now let's go over to the call to action. So you have the title. You have the title color. And you have the title margin uh, bottom is 40. And then this is the subtitle. Remember that I have this little, this little break here. That's why it's two different columns. So let's go to the call to action so you can see how it looks. So this is uh, the call to action right over here, right over here starting from 99, including the picture. So that's why you see it's two call, two separate lines here. It you know that that little break, this little break right here is what separates it. So make sure that your subtitle text color is white. And make sure that your title color is white as well. And then just scroll down, scroll down. And then for the button text, it says see more. You can put whatever you wanted to, you know, to say, uh, browse more, whatever it is. And then for the button link, whatever link that you want to put there, you want to link it up to another page or to another website or whatever it is, you can do that. And the where it says the button size, you want to make sure that it says large and the button type is primary and then for uh, the button full no this one is same window for the button position is bottom and then you want to make sure that you have this code that's the css code so if you have to you know type this or pause the video and make sure you get the code down but you definitely need to get that code just copy and paste it or just type it in uh, into your css class section there if not you're going to get it distorted uh, layout. So next, let's move over to the Joomla module. Let's take a, take a look at the row settings. All right, it's pretty much not much done here. Just for the margin, it's just set to zero, zero, zero. That's for the top, right, bottom, and left. Nothing changed there. And let's go over to the Joomla module itself. I already went over this, but I just want to do one more review for this so that you can be able to just make sure so nothing really to change here now let's go over to the uh the pictures which is this one where it says the room and suites so let's click on the row settings so you have the room and suites you have the heading is two uh the title font is 36 the title font weight And then you have the title margin bottom. And then you have title position. And then make sure that you have the room suites resort title heading uh, the CSS class. So you're not getting a distorted distortion. And then for the margin is set to zero. And then let's go over to the image. So it's the H3 tag for the heading, 
and then you want to make sure you put the image right right there and then for the, the image position center you can put the link if you want that image to link somewhere you make sure you put that link there and then for the empty space that one is just to set the uh, space to 38 that's you know that's about it and then for the call to action for the deluxe suites head and tag is three uh, the title margin bottom is 35 and then for the subtitle where it says 199 per night let's go on the front end this is what you're seeing here where it has the 199 per night and then the subtitle font 30 put your description there and then the book now and make sure that the button is standard and the button type is primary you can change it to whatever color but primary still have a set and the button position is set to bottom and then for the carousel there's another one that has some some issues before so the auto play set to yes yes no so for the navigation you set that to no and then and then you want to send the content alignment to center and once again pay attention to the CSS classes make sure that you just retype this on your end because if you don't you're going to have a you know distortion with your layout and then for the image, that's the image you have to put there. And for the standard, the button size is standard. Uh, the button type is default. So you, it's pretty much the same thing because what we did was we copy the, you know, this one here is just the same thing, but it's just reverse. So go through those and make sure those settings are the same for that. And then for what says call to action, which is this section right in the middle right here where you see the background get 20% off on your next visit so let's go through this one here nothing there nothing there nothing just the image and then you want to make sure for the background size is cover background attachment fix background position is center center scroll down and you want to here's here's the CSS class and this the pattern is 160 uh, pixels by zero and then nothing else needs to be changed and then go over to the latest post h3 you know set the limit to three three per row 100 simple and easy and let's check the row settings okay for the row settings here nothing to be checked or completed and let's go over to the testimonial let's check the row settings for that one so we have the image background right there and then uh, for, let me slow down here so you can see, for the background size, the cover, the fix, the center, standard, just like the other ones that we did. And then for the pattern, 110 pixels by zero for the margin is zero. And then let's go over to the office locations. I don't think we did anything here. So nothing to be changed for the row settings options here. Just make sure that you check each one of these to make sure that um, there's very little to change there. And let's go over to the Google map. So you click on the row setting. Nothing to be changed there. Just make sure you check where it says fluid row. That's checked. And then for the map, the Google map, you click on this. And then H3, scroll down. Now, once you create the map, you, all this information is going to automatically just show, populate for you. So you don't have to add anything else in there. And you want to make sure it says disable mouse scroll wheel. You want to set that to yes. And then for the color, you can you can mess with those colors, but uh, you can look the default as well. So that's pretty much it for the home page. Once you've done that, then you, you should have a home page that looks like this. If your homepage doesn't look like this, then just go through again to make sure that, you know, that there's something that you, you're probably missing something so tiny. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.